everybody today we're going to be looking at some moldy uh, deck siding and the best ways to remove that mold we're going to be testing three different chemicals today and we'll see how each of them do so we're going to be testing out three chemicals today we have some dawn dish soap some zep house and siding pressure wash you can find this at any home depot home improvement store and then just some classic clorox bleach which is a mold aside so i put them in ascending order of which one i think is going to be the best cleaner with clorox at the higher end dawn at the lower end so Dawn is just, it's a dish soap. It's basically just a surfactant, which is gonna help pick up your dirt and stuff, but it doesn't have any chemicals to break down the mold. So I don't imagine this one's gonna work very well on the mold. And Zep here it is a surfactant, just like the uh, dish soap, but it also has some chemicals and some chemicals with a higher pH. It's gonna help break down the mold. It's, uh, it doesn't have any bleach in it though. So uh, compared to the bleach, we'll see how it works. And then bleach is just a very high pH solution. Which is, it's a moldicide, fungicide, which should break down the mold. And we're going to have to mix it with some dish soap so that it can pick that all up and wash right away. A lot of people starting out, they'll make a solution of Clorox, bleach, dish soap, and water. Because if you put straight uh, bleach and water on a house, it's going to run right off pretty quickly. The dish soap is there to make that solution stick there for a little longer so that it'll actually kill the mold and then you can wash it off. But with, with my business, Kendi Exterior Thing, what we do is we use... Uh, bleach and um, surfactants that are specifically made for pressure washing they uh, they don't break down the bleach as quickly and they have like scents chemical scents that uh, that mask the bleach a little bit so dish soap and bleach is a good mix if you're just starting out or if you're a homeowner but uh, it's it's better to mix it with uh, uh, industry surfactant which is made for pressure washing and we're gonna dilute the Clorox bleach here four to one to make a, a solution that's strong enough for the mold there. So we'll just measure out a cup of bleach and we're gonna mix that with four cups of just water. And then we're just gonna mix a little soap in as a surfactant. Could hook this up straight to your downstream injector where the uh, soap comes in and it would spray out of your gun perfectly okay. for uh, doing like larger houses. The electric machines, it's uh, sometimes dependent on the um, uh, whether the downstream injector is before the pump or after the pump. Mm -hmm. If it's before the pump, you might not wanna do that because you'd be cycling bleach through the pump. And bleach really isn't isn't good to be putting in your pumps. It's bad for like the O-rings okay. and all the seals in there. It'll wear it'll wear out your pump quicker. But um, on, on most units, you just have to make sure that the downstream injector is ahead of the pump, so that you're not getting any uh, chemicals in your pump. So with bleach, there's a few surfaces you need to be very careful around when you're applying it. That would be uh, wood surfaces, newly painted surfaces, uh, wood surfaces that are stained, anything that's sort of organic. Bleach kind of eats into organics. So if you have like um, a large wooden deck that, and you're washing the house with bleach, you want to make sure that you wet the wooden deck first before and after just so that the bleach isn't sitting there and staining the wood. Because bleach is actually used to strip decks of their stains. So you, you definitely don't want to have a lot of bleach sitting on a deck that you're not even cleaning because it's going to discolor that. The ball was around $12. Okay. So the Zip, those kind of Home Depot, home improvement store cleaners, they can get a little expensive if you're doing big jobs, which is why most of the professionals don't really use them. They, they stick with their own, they make their own mixes with their own chemicals they buy wholesale. This is really more targeted at uh, a homeowner trying to clean their siding, okay. which is that it's gonna be a good test to see where it stacks up against the bleach. So it's a pretty basic cleaner. It's not, uh, it's not super powerful, but it does have what you need for smaller stains. And uh, it can tackle the big stains if you, you sometimes need to scrub it a bit, but you wouldn't wanna mix this with any other chemical just cause it has so many chemicals in it. It's its own special blend. So you don't want to add anything else because you could have some sort of dangerous chemical reactions. So on the label here, it says for heavier stains to mix with water, one part zep to five parts water. So that's what we're going to be doing today per the instructions. Okay, so then we just have a little bit of Dawn dish soap and water here. So our first test, we're going to use just the Dawn dish soap here on this section. Next, we're going to apply some of the zep right here. We're gonna put some bleach on this section. And we're gonna agitate all of these uh, areas. So as you can see, the soap 
breaking down some of the surface dirt, but you can see it's still leaving a lot of that mold and mildew behind. The ZEP is working pretty well. It's taken out all this mold here. Bro broken that down. There's still a little bit left here, but we didn't do a perfect application. And then the bleach is also working pretty well, breaking all that mold down. So we'll just wash each of these areas off and see what the end results are. Right, we can see it's pretty much a tie between the ZEP and the bleach. They both whitened, got rid of all that mold that it was applied to. The dish soap, as you can see, it removed a lot of that surface stuff, but you still have that sort of hue of mold left behind because uh, it, it didn't really break down any of the mold. It just got rid of most of what was on the surface. So that ZEP cleaner does a pretty good job of breaking down that mold, similar to the bleach wood. The, the ZEP cleaner was about $11 for that gallon versus you could make uh, the same amount of bleach solution for probably about $5 and you could get that down even cheaper if you're buying wholesale which is the reason most professional pressure washers don't use products like ZEP they just uh, mix up their own bleach solutions although ZEP is uh, very effective for any very effective for any homeowner who's trying to uh, wash their own property sometimes uh, professional power washers will use ZEP if they're working near a lot of uh, newly stained wood or a lot of uh, expensive plants they really don't want to damage because that that ZEP doesn't contain bleach but it has some uh, chemicals that can do similar things to bleach although it's safer with plants so that's uh, another consideration when using ZEP is that it's going to be a little bit lighter on any of your uh, plant life around what you're cleaning